Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you are all doing well. In today's music lesson, we are going to be talking about our different voices. So we have four different voices that we use, and sometimes we might use all these voices um, every day, or maybe you are somebody that only uses your, your speaking voice. Um, nevertheless, uh, we have four, and we're going to talk about uh, some reasons that you might use each one. So we have, um, here's a picture of a baby that is sleeping. So if you've ever been around a baby that's sleeping, you know that you have to be very quiet because babies need those, uh, they definitely need those naps so that um, they can be happy and healthy. Uh, babies need a lot more sleep than, you know, someone like me. So we always want to be very quiet when we're around a baby and we're going to do that by using our whisper voice everybody say whisper voice very good okay now i'm going to disappear for a second okay i'm back so um what if you have uh your dog has crossed the road and you need to get your dog back over to your side of the road well don't think I'm going to be whispering to my dog to come back to the other side. I don't think I'm going to use my talking voice either. I want to make sure that the dog can hear me. So I'm not going to be singing a song to Fido so that I can get him to come back over to, the, to my side. I'm probably going to use my shouting voice. And not shouting because he or she is in trouble, but uh, just to make sure that they can hear me, okay? So use uh, the shouting voice in this case. Sorry, I keep disappearing. So um, what about this one? So we've got somebody who is singing on a stage. Well, I think it's in the name. You have to use your singing voice in order to sing, okay? And Everybody's singing voice is a little bit different. It might not sound exactly the same, but it's still there, and we um, we all have a, a singing voice. So when you're singing on a stage or anywhere, you're going to be using that singing voice. All right. Now, a birthday party. This is one that can be kind of tricky because um, we can probably use all of these voices at a birthday party. So when we see the cake and the candles um, and uh, we're singing that happy birthday song, we're probably using our singing voice. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So uh, that's one uh, voice that we would use. Now, what if it was a surprise party and the birthday boy or the birthday girl hasn't uh, came into the room yet and everybody's finding a hiding spot and they're they're trying to uh, uh, get crouched down? We're going to use a whisper voice so that they can't hear you as they're walking in. All right, so we have that whisper voice. And then when everybody walks in or when the birthday boy or girl walks in, we shout, surprise! And that's the shouting voice that... Uh, that we would use. And then when you're at any kind of party, one of the things that you do is you just go around and you talk to your friends. So for a birthday party, we've used all of these voices. Okay, this one. If you've ever been to a, a sports game or uh, anything where you're cheering for somebody, then you're probably going to be using your shouting voice because um, you're excited and you want the, uh, those people to know that you're rooting for them. And if you whisper, then they're not going to know. They're not going to hear you. If you use your talking voice, you know, they might be able to hear you, but it's not very exciting. And sure, you could sing them a song, but again, I think they would appreciate the shouting and the cheering for them as they uh, play or do whatever they do. Okay, now the last one has to do with shouting. Okay, so I know we did a couple of uh, examples that we were talking about our shouting voice, you know, reasons that, it, that we would shout, but um, we really want to save that shouting voice for if we have a good reason. Okay, um, so like if you're at school or you're at home or I mean, really, if you're anywhere, you need to have a good reason for using your shouting voice, and that could be like an emergency, okay? So like when that, when we had the picture of the dog, 
crossing the road, I, that is definitely a good enough reason to use your shouting voice, okay? Um, if you, maybe if you're lost and you need some help, then you might use your shouting voice for that. Uh, if you've fallen down and you're hurt, that would probably be a good reason to use your shouting voice. So you always want to have a good reason to use your shouting voice, okay? So I hope that uh, this was helpful for you and I hope that you understand the different reasons that you would use your voice. So what I would like for you to do is I want you to come up with some on your own. There's plenty of other ones that we didn't talk about in this video. So what are some reasons you would use your whisper voice or your talking voice or your shouting voice or your singing voice? Probably going to use your singing voice when you sing a song, um, but when are some times that you sing? So think about that. Um, and uh, as we go forward, just be thinking about those. So I will talk to you guys in the next video and please remember to stay safe and have fun.